this is a good guide to the sentence piece tokenizer and why it's such a powerful tool. In order to feed language into a neural network, you first have to convert that language into discrete numbers, usually integers. There are different strategies to do that, and there's pros and cons to each. So one of them is character encodings. So basically, you give each character in the alphabet a specific number. A will be 1, B will be 2. And you convert the entire text into a list of numbers. This leads to a small vocabulary, but the model sometimes has trouble learning all the associations and can be prone to just saying gibberish. Another strategy is word level encodings. The vocabularies quickly become very, very large. The advantage is the model won't say any gibberish because it can only speak in terms of existing words. But there's also inconveniences. The large vocabulary makes the need for a very, very, very large model. And another inconvenience is that once the vocabulary has been set, well, you can't learn new things. Anything else must be one of these words or it becomes an unknown token. One extremely powerful approach to split the difference is what they call subword tokenization. So basically, you look at a corpus of text and you look at roots like complication has T I O N. Well, this T I O N root occurs in many different words. So you can get some of the benefits of character encodings as well as word level encodings and get the best of both worlds. The problem is it's kind of hard to do. But the good news is it's already been done, so you don't have to do it again. So this tutorial looks at sentence piece, which is one of the most user-friendly, wonderful subword encoding libraries and how to use it. And honestly, it's not more than three or four lines of Python code, so follow along. So I'm going to be working on an audio to text program and I have here a Jupyter Notebook where I've basically first downloaded my personal data set by calling the obtain Firestore data function that I created that downloads uh, the data set from the cloud. As you can see, I've downloaded it in, in the form of a list and a dictionary. Uh, it's basically the same data, but the dictionary is pretty nice because it gives the waveform file with the corresponding transcription. As you can see here, it's French language. And uh, there's a wave and the associated transcription. And what I'm going to try to do is encode the transcription with sentence bees to have some very good uh, quality and easy to learn transcriptions. So first of all, we're going to start by installing sentence bees. I have here a uh, PyCharm where I can just search and click to pip install, but you can also just type pip install sentence piece. It's a pretty small library, so it gets done pretty quickly. And now we can get started. So first of all, we import sentence piece. Pretty easy. Now, sentence piece has a lot of pre-built functionality into it, so most of the heavy lifting is done by the library. What we'll be doing here is encoding, well, actually training a sentence model from memory because all of my data is stored in this uh, Python dictionary. Well, uh, first of all, I need to convert my dictionary into a list of sentences so that the library can learn from it. And now that we see a list of sentences is actually a list of all the sentences that were previously in the dictionary. And now we can actually feed it to the sentence piece uh, library. And this is where there's a very convenient function call where you just call sentence piece, sentence piece trainer dot train. And here you enter basically an iterator. Um, so you enter a sentence iterator and you enter, you convert your list into an iterator by using the, uh, the Python iter tool. And uh, there you have it. 
you enter the model name that you want to receive. So model prefix, and this is going to output your model, your model prefix dot model file that Simpsons piece can use. You enter your uh, vocabulary, what you want to have the vocabulary size. I'm going to use 1000 right here. And uh, this is nice because this is a hyperparameter that can be fine tuned eventually. And finally, you enter your pad ID, your unknown token ID, your beginning of sentence and end of sentence IDs. And these will be uh, taken into account as well in the vocabulary. So as you can see, this did not take very long. Uh, my PyCharm ID hasn't refreshed, but there's a model a dot model file that has been created that I can now load. And now we can easily instantiate a sentence piece uh, tokenizer to encode and decode our text. So it's sentence piece dot sentence piece processor and we enter the model file which should be my spmodel.model that we just created so in future uh, next time to, inst to instantiate the first step with sentence piece trainer will not need to be repeated unless there's some big changes in the vocabulary and the corpus of text per se so i've instantiated as sp and I can just basically pass in a string, sp.encode. And what I'll do here is I'll, uh, I'll import random, just import random to help along, and sp.encode, a random choice of string in my list of strings. And the list of strings was the list of sentences. So a list of sentences, and there you have the encoding. Um, I'll show you what the string was. So the specific sentence will be random dot choice as a random choice in my sentences, and the encoding will be sp dot encode, and there you have it you have an encoding and the sentence per se was a three-word sentence we read the dossier so i guess these three words record enough in the vocabulary that they have their own encoding since it's a subword encoder sometimes a single word can have two or even three uh, associated uh, well two uh, corresponding uh, integers and to decode is just as easy you just pass your list into sp.decode your list and it'll give you the decoding. So there you have it, the sentence piece processor to easily take the encoding and decoding for you into honestly the most effective subword tokenization I can find. If you like this, follow along. In the next video, I'll make uh, a PyTorch dataset, a custom PyTorch dataset with my dictionary and uh, eventually to create my own model that does transcription and decryption and that also learns and finally we'll also deploy it uh, so follow along if you're interested <laughs>